Wuliang Tianzun, I'm Liu Shifu from the Wudang Daoist Institute and welcome to another episode of Daoist Lifestyle. In this episode we're gonna continue talking about the altar, how to set it up and how to use it. So after the intro we're gonna start talking about some of the artifacts and instruments we use for the Daoist rituals. So stay tuned! we already talked a little bit about how to set up the altar and what is important for the setup in general. So let me explain you a little bit more about these flags. The flags like this small one here is used for certain rituals and the big flags on the side are normally used to communicate with the divines. And you see that those flags are moving without being moved. So basically these uh, little flagged parts here in the bottom, they are held up like this but without anybody holding it or without any string attached. So basically there's books also um, explaining the shapes. Sometimes they like building a knot or doing something like this and every, every different kind of uh, shape which these flags are doing has a special meaning. Um, for example, uh, the divines try to communicate with us in a certain way, so this is also shown in these books. The incense smoke is also very similar like this flex. You have the smoke and sometimes it builds a little bit uh, weird shapes, so this is also a way of the divine to communicate with us. Let's continue talking about some uh, priest tools like this little piece of wood uh, with some uh, fu on it and uh, there's of course several different ones some are very plain some are white some are black and this is what we use here in the Yujianguan and this is called a uh, chaopan this chaopan is basically for rituals and the communication with the divines so usually we hold it like this like in the ancient times in China the officials of the emperor, they would always have some piece of wood in front of their mouth so the emperor don't see their lips, but they keep speaking like this. And many people, they keep mis misunderstanding this piece of wood the same like that. So we use this as a communication and sometimes you hold it like this or you receive some incense and this chopan is very important for the Taoist priests during the ritual practice. Another thing what you can find on our altar are the seals. So these seals are blessed and we usually use them for talismans. And they are like uh, holy seals with the name of our patriarch, Shomu Dadi, this one for example, and we have another one over there. And we usually use those for helping the people who come here or bless like uh, talismans and use them for protection. Some of you might know this artifact. This is called a Ling Pai. And the Ling Pai is basically used as a, another tool of a Taoist priest. We use this for example to draw certain characters or divine signs to clean the area or protect uh, the priest or the people who are doing the ritual. Another thing what you can find on many altars are those paper tablets which is called Pai Wei and they are specially folded so they can keep standing like this and they are sealed with a seal and there are uh, different characters on it. In this uh, tablet we wrote San Qing Tianzun so for the three clarities. Usually you could put this also in the middle to set up an altar. And when you know the method how to seal this or how to bless this, you can also invite the three clarity divines into this tablet and use this as a centerpiece of an altar. So this is why many rituals using these kind of tablets, so they don't have many 
um, statues on the altar, but they use these paper tablets for certain rituals. Of course, another very important part of the altar are the scriptures. So, we usually offer two major, most important scriptures on our altar. They are always here, so they also, because the Tao is in the scriptures, Tao Jing Shi, the three treasures we treasure as a Taoist is the Tao, the Jing, the scriptures, the teachings and the master, the Shi Fu, Shi, Tao Jing Shi. So if you have those scriptures, you read them but you maybe not understand them. So you need the Shi Fu who already understands the practices and the meanings of the scriptures so he can explain to you. That's why we have the three treasures, Tao Jing Shi. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Dao's Lifestyle. And if you like our videos, please give us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share the videos with your friends and Dao's community. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask those questions in the comment section. And like we promised you, every week we try to answer one or two of your questions. And the person who asks the question get a nice reward from us. My name is Liu Shifu. And I hope to see you next time. William, Tianzun!